Hi there, how are you today? How are you today, my friend? Tired. Huh? I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired too. <laughs> to be honest, I'm extremely tired. Maybe, yeah, I'm much more tired than you feel. Yeah. But, uh, okay. yeah, we still have to work and earn money. Yeah, yeah. That's one way to move on. Just got to keep on, keeping on, you know. Keep fighting for our future. Yeah. By the way, I'm in a coffee shop. And you know what? The temperature in the coffee shop is very low. Because the air conditioner, um, they uh they low they lower the temperature, is with the hope that the customer will go away. Do you understand? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one way to get the customer go away. Yeah, another so way. Hope like that. Yeah. I need, I really need a blanket at the moment. I'm desperately need a blanket. You know what I mean? So if yeah. you go to another coffee shop, um, so uh, for example, if you go to Starbucks, yeah, they also have their own unique way to get a customer to go away. Yeah, and that is to change the Wi-Fi password every 10 minutes. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to Jung Nguyen Coffee Shop, yeah, it's a very big coffee chain in Vietnam. Yeah, and um, yeah, the internet connection is extremely poor. If you go there, you have to make sure that you go there because you want to enjoy drinking coffee and the view outside the coffee shop. Yeah. If you go there, for sure that you cannot scroll through social media, Facebook, Instagram, or anything else. Okay. By the way, uh, can you just wait for me one minute? I am going to ask the staff to increase the temperature. Okay. Okay. Sure. Wait for me one second. No need to ask. Okay. Now we don't have much time to talk. We have a test, and we have to do it. Okay, there's no way to avoid it. If I avoid it, I will have to, uh, by the way, I'm, it's, I feel cold, extremely cold. Yeah, wait for me one second. Okay, so, oh my God, wait. wait. Try to wash your hands and see if that helps. Wash my hand? Yeah, I read it somewhere that if you wash your hands, then uh, it will like stop the cold, I think. Well, we'll try. Okay, so... Um... You're going to listen to the question and then you answer, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's do it. First, have you ever seen a car accident? What happened? Do I have to answer? Yes. So yeah, can you, can I you tell me the question? Yeah. Okay. 
what yeah. happened? Uh, two car, two car crash on each other. Mm -hmm. One stop in the house, like uh, it's uh, it's it break a house, it broke a house, and the second car like it just went in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Was there anyone injured? No, uh, just the car. Just the car. Okay, so the car was uh, heavily damaged, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anyone passed away? Passed away? Me? Man. Okay. Now it's not the time for choking, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay, now let's move on. Number two. Number two. Question number two. Could you tell me some safe driving tips that you follow? Nah, I cannot drive yet. I'm not 18 and, and I don't have a driving license. So I want to answer that. Mm -hmm. That's the safe thing. Okay, so because you are not 18, so uh, you have uh, conducted the research on safe driving tips, right? Correct? Yeah. Yeah. You haven't found out anything about safe driving tips, right? Yeah, yeah. it's understandable. So how about a motorbike? Never ride before. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, by the time it was your age, I still ride, I still rode a bicycle. Yeah, I tear around the city with my bicycle. Okay, so number three, number three, get ready. Let's continue with the next topic. Can you tell me which is the best way to improve our appearances? How does it benefit you? So, I'm a male, so I I don't like uh, do the hair or stylish thing. So, I don't think I can answer this question. Again? Can you say that again one more time, please? Because, um, um, because the way, yeah, the word that you use to express your opinions, your thinking, makes me confused. Okay? Oh. Okay. So, I'm a male. I, I don't use uh, the female thing to improve my appearance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I used to say that you don't mind, okay? You don't mind improving your appearance. Okay, so can you tell me about some benefits of improving your parents' appearance? Yeah. Improving my parents' appearance. Mm -hmm. If you have a good appearance, yeah. So, uh, what is the benefit? What is the benefit? If you have from a, what? Mm -hmm. From what? Like I the benefits of having a good appearance. The benefits of having a good appearance is part of the question. I think you will get. Boyfriend or girlfriend faster? Man. You will get boyfriend. Oh, wow. Well, by the way, that's not a good answer to me. Okay. So um, if I were you, I would say something like, well, having a good appearance will make me feel confident. confident. Yeah. And yeah, to be, if I have a good appearance, if I put on makeup before going out, yeah, then the, <clears throat> I will look more attractive and more people want to talk to me, want to engage in the conversation with me because of my appearance. Yeah, they might think I'm that I'm a celebrity because I have put on makeup. Okay, do you understand? I'm an uh, introvert, so I don't talk to people. But... Uh, so the yeah, I know. 
But uh, don't you want other people to think that, uh, um, yeah, to have to think positive thought when they see you? No, thanks. They think that uh, you are, yeah, yeah, you are a real celebrity. Yeah. No, I don't like to. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, to be honest, I don't use uh, cosmetic products. Okay, so you are talking about girl things, right? You're talking yeah. about cosmetic products, right? By the way, yeah. right? Okay, so I'm not using cosmetic products before I go out, but uh, yeah, uh, I buy I can... clothes, expensive clothes, to yeah improve my appearance. And as you can see, the shirt I'm wearing, yeah, costed me. Yeah, it costed me I hundred and forty five thousand down. Yeah, I got a discount, so I bought two of them and I got one for free. Okay, got it. Okay, that's yeah. one way to improve your appearance. By the way, I I bought it. Yeah, I bought these clothes. Yeah, and um, improve my appearance because I wanted other people to think that I'm rich. I'm a I'm famous. I don't yeah, yeah. By the way, I just mentioned that part. Okay. Mm, okay. You give me not uh the answer you give me you gave me is not good. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, if you give me if you want to give you a uh, feedback, yeah, a clear statement, yeah, then it's not good. Okay. Question number four. Get ready. Get. In your opinion. Which is more important, the outer beauty or inner beauty? Why? Wait, I think this question are a question that uh, we made in the past. Yes. Like uh, oh. we learned about it. Yes, we learn. We learn it in reading. Ah, uh, no, it's a in a listening exercise. So, uh, yeah. Maybe a model or uh, a very famous woman who has participated in a beauty contest. Yeah. And, yeah. And she won. So they yeah, and she asked won. her. No, she, someone asked a um, guy. The, uh, Maybe he, a was an, uh, he was an MC. Yeah. Maybe he worked as an MC. And he is expressing his opinion about beauty, inner beauty and outer beauty. Okay, but that doesn't matter, right? So, in your opinion, you are a European, right? You know what yeah. European thinks, right? Okay, so what's your opinion? What's I more think important? the inner beauty. Inner beauty is more important. Yeah. Can you say something to support your claim? Um... I don't know. Okay. I don't really care about that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, question number five. Question number five. And this is the last topic. Can you tell me why we should eat healthy food? To be healthy? Man, say something what? more. Say something more. Wait, what? What? What was the question again? <laughs> Why do we need to eat healthy food? Yeah. And this uh, is the last to time. Healthy. Can you tell me why we should eat healthy food? Uh, I think to get healthy and uh, to have a good appearance. To have a good like a smooth skin. And if eating healthy food can help us improve our appearance, then nobody will buy cosmetic products. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like eating uh, a lot of meat. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I can give you some suggestions to improve your health. Okay. So, uh, eating healthy food. Yeah. Eating healthy food. Mm -hmm. is greatly beneficial okay you can start by 
macam ini ya start with this sentence with the statement okay it's a eating healthy food is directly beneficial yeah um it will not only help me to stay fit or subido okay but it also helps me but it also helps me to uh, become stronger okay okay well, yeah. some foods can help you build your muscle strengthen your muscle okay yeah like so me watch about that <laughs> okay and uh, uh you can mention the fact that most people who attend who join the beauty contest often eat healthy food before joining yeah the competitions so um uh, people who who have already won a beauty competition yeah is the one who often stick to a diet consisting of healthy food okay you get it yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay one last question what wait the, the five was uh, said, uh, said that this was the last question i don't know but then number six is question number six right yeah, yeah you, it's a scam it's a scam six, right yeah so scam. by the way i have to click them yeah Okay, now let's listen. Try your best to come up with an idea to answer the question. Yeah. Tell me about the best local dish you have ever tried. What is in that dish? How does it taste? Uh, the best local dish that I've tried before, the name of it is, I don't know, uh, I think. Uh, and it's really good. Really good. What is in the dish? What's in the dish? What's in I don't know. I think noodles and some meat and some vegetables. Some beef? You're talking about meat. meat. You are talking about meat. Meat, right? meat beef. not beef. beef. Meat, not beef. Beef, not beef? Yeah. I said meat, not beef. But bún bò, right? Bò. Thịt bò là beef mà em. Do you even oh. know that beef is a cow's meat? Huh? I, I, I don't really care about the name of the meat. Because Man. I eat everything. Man. I just care about the chicken and the pig like that only. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? What was the question? Tell me more about that dish. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some sauce. Like, uh, I think the sauce is made from uh, sugar and some uh, carrots and potatoes. Really? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think I ate that in the restaurant. Restaurant. I'm I'm thinking about a chili sauce or uh, something like that. I cannot believe that you talk. You told me about a sauce that make from sugar. That. Yeah. My okay. mom make it like that, and it's good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty similar to a restaurant. Well, to be honest, I'm. I think that is not a good description of a local dishes. <laughs> okay. 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 The end of the test. Yeah. That's the end of the test. Oh, do you remember when we start? When we started? Uh, by the remote. Now, what time is it now? Uh, eight three. 
tám giờ ba bảy giờ bốn mươi tám giờ ba okay so then we can have ten minutes for a small talk for a small I yeah I don't know I don't know whether we can have a small talk or not. But by the way, do you like a small talk or not? Sure. Okay, then 10 minutes for a small talk. Okay, so what do you want to talk about today? About, uh, about I don't know, about, um, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. You think? Do you like, like physics? Do you what? Like what? What was your like uh, favorite subject? My favorite subjects. Yeah, like in uh, el elementary school. At elementary school. Yeah. Yeah, at that time, you know what? Uh, I was um, quite a, I'm a kind of kid who always try to show up with my knowledge. Yeah, so uh, most of my friends remember me as a person who can remember a lot of uh, uh, mathematical formulation, okay? So uh, I can... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can speak aloud. I can tell them the mathematical formulation that we have learned at at the beginning of a semester or something like that. Yeah, my teacher also remember me for that ability. Yeah. For that ability. So I used to sleep in class. I used to sleep in class all the time. Yeah, I have lesson with her. And you know what? Uh, yeah. Mm. At that time, I had to take a drug. Yeah, a drug. Because I had uh, a mental disease. Okay. And okay. I had to take that kind of drug. And that kind of drug makes me fall asleep in class all the time. Yeah, so even though I I was sleeping all the time in class, but when I woke up from the nap, yeah, I can I could still complete the exercise that the teacher gave me. Yeah, so she asked me to go to the board and complete the exercise on the board. Yeah, so I could do it quite easily, and she was marvel at my ability to uh, yeah yeah no matter why when i think about my past in elementary school i didn't feel proud i don't feel proud yeah because uh, i somehow as i grew up i don't like my behavior the behavior that I had when I was a child. Yeah, yeah. But to tell you the truth, uh, when I was in secondary school, when I was in, when I was a ninth grader, okay? Nine yeah. Grader. Yeah, so I have a best friend. Yeah, he's currently living in America. He moved to America with his family right after he finished uh, secondary school. Okay, secondary education. Yeah. And uh, you know what that he loved? He had a big crush for a girl. And uh, every time we, uh, uh, every student, every student is allowed to go to the schoolyard to have a break. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nó có cái giờ giờ ra chơi với em. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, every time all of the students in the schools were allowed to go to the schoolyard to have a break, yeah, and to play sport and to have breakfast together. 
he asked me to uh, pay attention to that girl to see whether she paid some paid him some attention or not. Yeah, and I agree to help him. And you know what? When I think, whenever I think about it, I think that it was the most stupid idea that I have ever. Yeah. Yeah, and that I have ever agreed to help him. Yeah, the most stupid thing, the stupidest thing that I have ever agreed to do to help a friend. Yeah, even when she's paid some attention, it doesn't mean that she likes you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by the way, I. Mm. So now we were no longer friend. We were no longer friend. I haven't talked to him for more than six months or so. Six months. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, mm. Let me think. Three, four, seven years. For more than, no, 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, exactly. More than 10 years, sorry. You know what? Because uh, his favorite football team was defeated by my favorite football team. So uh, at that time, when, uh, yeah, when he moved to the US, we still keep, we still kept contact. We still kept in touch with each other. We still talk to each other through Messenger. Yeah. And we usually, our favorite topic was football. Yeah. And uh, he uh, he was a big fan of Manchester United. Manchester United. While I am, I was, I am, I have been a big fan of Manchester City for, yeah, for more than 10 years. Manchester City. Yeah. And okay. yeah, so when uh, these two clubs, uh, um, when these two clubs uh, had a match together, so they competed, when they competed on the field, okay, on the football field, yeah, and Manchester City player managed to win, yeah, to score, yeah. Yeah, I still remember that match. I felt very happy when I heard about the news that my favorite team had won the game. Yeah. And I told him that uh, my team my team wasn't bad. Okay. It was your team. Okay. So oh. he, he, be, he became out of control and he blocked my Facebook. <laughs> uh, it, no. I say that yeah at that time we use Yahoo Messenger. Yahoo Yahoo. Have you ever heard about that? Yahoo. About what? Yahoo. Yahoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I heard about that. Yeah, Yahoo Messenger. I think so. We 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 talk to each other by that application. Okay. Okay. We, at that time, we didn't use Facebook. Only when I, uh, only when I went to university did I start to use Facebook. Okay. Okay. okay that's ten minutes. Now let's get back to our business today. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that. Yeah. But you haven't asked my question. What is the question? I will always what? answer. What is your question. favorite subject? My favorite subject. Yeah, my the subject that when I have a conversation with my best friend or the subject that I study in school. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. In school. In yeah. School? Oh, wrong, well, wrong. I'm sorry. I'm I'm mistaken that word with the topic. I'm sorry. I mistaken that word with topic. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. 
So, um, I didn't have a favorite subject when I was in school. In elementary, my favorite subject was math. And in secondary school, my favorite subject was math, uh, physics, and uh, math, physics, and biology. And in high school, I didn't have a favorite subject because somehow the teacher in yeah in my high school yeah didn't know how to motivate their student and maybe they they uh they didn't have a sense of humor yeah to make their in lesson oh. interesting. By the way, I when I uh, took the university entrance examination. I got a uh, uh, 6.5 for the English test. Yeah. I didn't have enough score. From yeah. 6.5. Or oh. yeah, on 10. On 10. On a scale of 10. Okay. I mean... That's was pretty high, right? I... I okay. Okay, so if you want to go to a public university, you have to get a score of uh, at least 20, okay? And my score, my total score for the university, for the university entrance examination wasn't yeah, as high as 20. This, it was about 18. 18 or 16, it was so stupid, okay? And my father, <laughs> okay. was, my father, was my father wasn't happy. And uh, after I took the test, yeah, five months later, after I took the test, my father passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can't look really. Okay. So um, now let's focus on our lesson today. Otherwise, I will be criticized or maybe kicked out of this company. Okay. Discuss personality and its origin. What does it mean? Can you tell me about it? You can use Vietnamese if you like. Um, nói về tính cách và nguồn khởi nguyện. No, nguồn gốc của nó. Nguồn gốc. I don't know the Vietnamese word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I just said the khởi nguyện because that's the, like, the closest thing I can think of. Man, you can, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. do I have to read all of it? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a good translator too. Sometimes my students think that I'm not a good teacher because my translation is so bad. Yeah. In order to help them to understand, yeah, deeply. Yeah. In order to have them to deeply understand the lesson, mm -hmm. sometimes I have to translate. Yeah, what I'm yeah, translate uh, the content into in, into Vietnamese, and I make a lot of mistakes. That's why I'm a teacher, not a translator or interpreter. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Do now, I have to read all of this? No. Now we, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you will, you will, no. not now. Okay. Now you have to use your ear to listen. Okay, just listen. Okay. Is it simple? Yeah. Let's do it. It's simple. Very. Read and listen. Okay. Now let's listen. Personality from nature or nurture. What is personality? 
Many people define personality as a person's usual manner or style of behavior. These patterns of behavior tend to be predictable throughout a person's lifetime. Some people are introverts, others are extroverts. Some people have easygoing personalities. They are usually cheerful and calm and able to cope with life's difficulties without much trouble. Their emotions are usually under control. They don't get extremely angry about little things. Others, at the other end of the personality spectrum, are more emotional, experiencing higher highs and lower lows. Most people's personalities, however, don't fall at the extreme ends, but rather fall somewhere in between. Where do we get our personality? For hundreds of years, psychologists and ordinary people have never stopped debating this fascinating question. Some people think personality develops as a result of the environment, the combination of influences that we learn from, such as our families, our culture, our friends, and our education. The people who believe this theory believe that all babies are born without a personality and that it's the environment that determines or forms each child's personality. This school of thought is called the nurture school. At the other end of the continuum, we find people who believe that personality is determined by nature or the characteristics we receive or inherit from our parents biologically through their genes. These people believe that our personality is not determined by the environment, but rather by genetics, and that each baby is born with a personality. The Nature-Nurture Controversy The Nature-Nurture Controversy is very old. Experimental psychologists have tried to discover which of these two factors, genetics or the environment, is more important in forming our personality. However, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to conduct research on real people with real lives. There's just no way to put people in a laboratory and watch them develop. For this reason, there's no scientific way to settle the nature-nurture controversy. Recently, however, most researchers have come to believe that both the environment and the genes, nurture and nature, work together and are both important. Even though the experts have largely discarded the idea that personality development is so black and white, the nature-nurture controversy remains a popular discussion among friends. It seems that everyone has an opinion. Okay, so um, now your turn to do me a favor by reading this reading passage aloud. I know your answer. But can you please help me? Okay. Um, what is personality? Many people define personality as a person's usual manner or style of behavior. This, these patterns of behavior tend to, to be predictable throughout a, a person's lifetime. Some people are introvert, others are extrovert. Some people have easygoing personalities. They are usually cheerful and calm and able to cope with life's difficult difficulties without much difficulty. Trouble. Difficult, difficulty, difficulty. Okay. Okay. Their emotions are usually under control. They don't get extreme, extremely angry about little things. Other are uh, at the other end of the personality spectrum are more emotional, experiencing higher highs and lower lows. Most people's personalities, however, don't fall at the extreme ends, but rather fall somewhere in between. Where do we get our personality? For hundreds of years, psychologists and or Ordinary people have never stopped debating this fascinating question. Some people think personality develops as a result of the environment, the combination of influences that we learn from, such as our families, our culture, our, fr our friends, and our education. Can you can you get the most please away? Mm -hmm. 